welcome to this video class and today we are going to discuss about e and z notation of geometrical isomers before that uh, we have to discuss what is the importance of e z notation in stereochemistry and uh, usually for a carbon double bond carbon double bond cases we are follow cis trans isomers but here we are introduce one more configuration method that is e and z notation usually suppose i am considering a compound i am considering a carbon double bond carbon and it is attached with different groups a b a b this is one case and c double bond c a b b a this is another case in this case in both of this case we can assign the priority suppose this is 1 this is 2 1 2 in this case this is 1 2 2 1 uh, look in this compound here both the groups are same a a b b a a and b b and here this isomerism is called cis because identical groups are present on the same side of this double bond here identical groups are present in the opposite side of this double bond then it is termed as termed as trans this is a normal case we are using uh, uh, cis and trans notation for uh, defining the state of chemistry of a compound but some cases for example I'm introducing another compound C double bond C A B C and D here uh, what is the differences between this and this compound and here the all substitution substituents are different here all substituents are different a b and c d that means substituent across the carbon double bond carbon 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 double bonds are different in this case we cannot follow the cis trans isomerism or cis trans configuration in this we are introducing another configuration and that is called e and z notation or e and z configuration method the description of stereochemistry of a compound so uh, here uh, we are taking the C C C double bond C C double bonds and then we are looking the groups present across the C C double bonds okay next uh, what do you mean by E and Z E means is a German word and gegen represent opposite side z means zusammen representing follow together and both are represent in italic mode and present within a bracket and this is representation of e and e and z then the next step for assigning z notation is rules we need some rules to assign z notation this rules generally called can ingol prelog rules or cip rules can in gold prelog priority rules or can in gold prelog rules cip rules this rules defined how we can assign z notation for a compound to describe its stereo chemistry so we can check what are the different rules rule number one rule number one and this rule says Assign priority number 1 or 2 to groups on each carbon atom of the double bond. Assign priority number 1 or 2. So, uh, I am taking a compound. Assign priority 1 or 2. C double bond C. You can check. A, B, C, D. This is a carbon, carbon, combo, double bond, compound. This is carbon number 1. This is carbon number 2. According to first rule, each substituent on a double bond is assigned a priority. Each substituent in a double bond. So this is a carbon number one. We can check the substituent. 
so we can assign priority number first rule is based on priority number that means we can give priority number on the basis of atomic number z z means represent atomic number so we can first check the uh, different groups and then find out its atomic number then we can give its a uh, priority number on the basis of that here suppose i am considering a and b a having more atomic number than b a is found to be more atomic number than b a greater than b then i am giving number 1 to a number 2 to b here the same idea c greater than d suppose that term suppose the atomic number of c is greater than d number 1 uh, goes to c number 2 gives to d this is rule number 1 one, one uh, that means as in priority number 1 or 2 1 or 2 okay this is complete then we are discuss what is number 2 rule number 2 means compare the priority of the group or atom at one carbon related to the other compare the priority of the group or atom related to one another compare this priority that means here the priority is 1 2 and here the priority is 1 2 this is comparison then that means our second rule is second rule is comparison comparison of the priority of each carb priority number on the on each carbon of atom then goes to third and fourth rule third and fourth rule are combination that means it says if both first priority groups are on the same side of double bond then it is says set here both the rule says both priority groups are on the same side both priority groups one one are on same side two two and are on same side this is called both priority groups are on same side then it is called z that is called z so z means the same same we can remember it z means same z means same same side priority groups are on same side then it is called z suppose i am taking another example c double bond c a b d c a b d c then this is number 1 2 then we can assign the uh, priority number 1 2 here 1 2 then what is the observation here both priority groups are on the opposite side here both priority group uh, groups are on the opposite side a and c are on the opposite side then we can say that this represents and know this assigned as e e this is e opposite side so you can remember z zusammen same side then e is opposite okay now okay then we can say the the third rule and fourth rule are both are combination both sets same same priority same priority groups same side same priority groups are on same side then it is that same priority groups are on opposite side then it it is assigned as e this is priority checking rules next we are going to discuss the continuation of the rules priority assigned rules this is actually the extension of cip rules how to define uh, the priority rules on the basis of atomic number uh, mainly it categorized into two uh, area that means rule number 1 you can say it is a small uh, uh it's a small kind of extension of the rule cip rules actually a group gets first priority if its atomic number is high so the idea is if a group suppose i'm considering uh, our previous example we are considering the uh, suppose suppose this is i'm um, considering compound here we can say uh a greater than b means a is found to be more priority and this is based on atomic number atomic number atomic number that means when whenever 
the groups attached with the carbon and its atomic number is high and that case we can say this gives atomic number one sorry that's that case we can give priority number one that means high atomic number highest atomic number highest atomic number implies highest atomic number implies highest or rule priority number one highest atomic number implies priority number one this is a group gets first priority group gets first priority it is atomic number is high then groups get low atomic number it gives priority number two second rules when atom attached directly to a double bond have the same atomic number the second atom are considered and this is uh, a kind of rule which defines in some cases in some cases suppose in some cases some examples are like suppose suppose uh, c double bond c which is attached with four groups of atom here c attached with attached with um, COOH and CH3. This case, how can we check? Here, some uh, some groups are also present. Okay, uh, this is an example only. Okay, here this case, I'm selecting this carbon, this carbon, and this case, uh, the possible groups are CH3 and COH, and according to our rules, we can check the first atom. So in both cases, this carbon, double bond carbon, this carbon is attached with both cases carbon. And according to our rules, it is based on highest atomic number, but highest atomic number. But this case, carbon is attached with same atom, carbon, carbon. Then, then we have we have to look the second, we have to look the second atom attached with it. Here the second atom attached with this is oxygen. Here the second atom attached with this CH3 is hydrogen. Then which one having more highest more atomic number? Definitely oxygen having uh, highest atomic number. Then we can assign the priority easily. One, two. And this rule, this is the row number two. Actually, when atom attached directly to a double bond has the same atomic number, the second atom are considered. If uh, second atom of highest atomic number, if second atom are identical, suppose if the second atom are identical, we can go to the third atom. This is continue, continuation actually is continuing for up to the identification of a priority number. Okay, this is the simple priority assigning rules on the basis of atomic number.